Hello and welcome back to the uh, Lego Star Wars Millennium Falcon Mega Build. Still on bag free. I utterly failed to finish it last time. Just start my timer going. Um, I did think about finishing it off screen and I forgot and here I am. I've left this here. So clearly this is where I was at and I've left I left it on number 183 so I I believe I was actually at that position so it, it does appear I have left myself in a somewhat comfortable position. Right. Making a start. There we are. We got one piece. Two. Nothing to connect it to though. Is that it? Is that what, is that what goes? Yeah. So I'm going to warn you now. Um, I've just seen Avengers, like today, uh, Infinity War, this is. I will be talking about it a lot, possibly by accident. I suspect this video should come out a fair amount after the Avengers. So, you know, you've had time to watch it, but this is just, you know, all in, fair warned. I, I, I will be talking about that moment, you know. That doesn't actually refer to anything, but there's no, I wouldn't... I wouldn't say Avengers has a, a, a that moment where it's like, ah, oh, shit, particularly. Well, there's the ending, obviously, but that's neither here nor there. We'll, we'll all come to that, is that it? Yep. <clears throat> Rocketing ahead. Goes on there. I think I'm building, oh, I see what it is. Yeah, it's the hallway. Is, it, is there two of these? No, there is only one. I'm just not looking properly. A little kind of square. One of these. Two of them, in fact. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I've had quite a... I had an odd day today. It's So, for background, Avengers came out on Thursday. I was busy Thursday. I was playing Ultimate Frisbee, because that's the sort of guy I am, you know. We, you get up, you get down the beach, you you rip a bong hit and you play ultimate frisbee for a bit. Um, and it was, it was my brother's 30th birthday. So I was like, damn it, I wanna go and see Avengers. But my brother is 30 years old today. I should really, you know, put in an appearance. So that happened. I On the Wednesday, the, the day before that, the Wednesday night, I was like, I could go to a midnight screening, but I did have work the next day. I had to be up early. And I was quite tired. I I played in a badminton tournament that night. Got back at sort of. There's nothing holding this on, and it's very disconcerting. I'm sure something will come of it later, though. I was playing in a badminton tournament that night, so I was, I was, I had a certain amount of adrenaline when I got back. But I knew if I had a shower, drove out to the cinema. By the time I I I would sit down, and I'd be like, ah, really looking forward to this. I'm really jazzed. <laughs> Just immediately sleeping is what would happen. I'd, I'd just pass out instantly. And I, I didn't want to do that. I also didn't want to be like fighting myself awake, which I can do if necessary. What you do is you, you take your, your hand, well, you take this hand and you just grab flesh. And just really hold on to it and pinch tightly and that will keep you awake. But it's not a good way to watch a film. Something seems wrong. I built that too easily. The first one seemed more difficult. I know what's wrong. I'm missing an inner piece. Um, nope. Nope. It's one of someone over here, perhaps. Where is it? Doesn't seem. Is there a piece in there? Yep. Literally the first piece that should happen. I mean, it definitely exists, doesn't it? There's no chance it doesn't. Yeah, so Wednesday night, couldn't do that. Thursday night, I thought about it late at night. I was like, I could go to a late night screen now. But I, no, I, I, in fact, I, I absolutely couldn't. It was just too late. and I was, I was dead to the world. Plus, I, I took a nasty spill at the Frisbee. Just all down my left arm. I, I fucked up my wrist. To the point where the next day I was like, this was fine. Moving it like that hurt like hell. I, just, I couldn't move it. And I rolled my ankle as well. So that, that was a bitch. That hurt. So I couldn't do Thursday night. Then fucking Friday night, just all over the shop. I had a, 
<clears throat> I had a badminton match that evening, so I had to go and play in that. I, again, I thought about going to a late showing because I, I finished at like half nine. I was like, I could just go to 10 o'clock. That's not, it's not outlandish. I put this in the wrong place. But again, it was that thing of, well, I don't want to see this, you know, tired. I want to be in the right, the right mindset. I want to fully enjoy it. That was Friday. And then Saturday, I was like, I'm going to go Saturday. You know, and th that's today. Today is the Saturday. It's unclear. There we go. Got that in there now. And I ended up just going Saturday afternoon. So consequently, I'm recording this in the evening, which I never do. If I were to open that window, it would be dusk as opposed to midday. Okay, we'll put a sticker on this. But I'm not sure which side it goes on. Because it's quite hard to see. I'm pretty sure it goes on the, the inner bit, the con convex there, the concave bit in fact. Which means it's hard to put in. This is the hardest sticker placement yet. Don't worry though, because I fucking nailed it. And that goes on like that. I'm going to turn this around in a minute and do the full reveal of, of how that sticker looked. But trust me, it may look a thing. Um, so I've got a few little bits of trim to put on first. I've teased it, but it's not going to happen for a while. So yeah, I went to, went to an afternoon showing, which weirdly, I, I've never... The, the cinema I go to, it's in a shopping centre. So it's one of those where it's it's clearly always like it does good trade in the daytime, uh, at weekends and stuff. But it's always like dead at night whenever I go in. So I'm used to it being empty. Like I, I get there, I walk straight in. The car park's empty. You know, there's never, never anything to worry about. But today I went. I I I just looked online to book tickets before I went. Fortunately, because it was damn screening was nearly sold out. Which I'd, I'd have been livid if I'd have got there. And A, I'd have had to sit like at the very front. Or B, it would have been fully sold out. Right, you ready for this? Look at that hallway. Yeah? Does that look like a hallway? Or does that look like a hallway? I know you can't really see it. But it's I can. And it, it has an effect, certainly. Uh, right, so that side. Apparently, apparently I'm building something complicated now. So I did the... Uh, yeah, so I, I saw that, got back about five o'clock and thought, I'm going to record one of these tonight because Saturday's the day I record on. If I don't record on Saturdays, I have no other real time to do it. And I, you know, I, I end up, you know, like rushing stuff or putting out subpar content, which if you've seen my content, imagine what I class as subpar. It's, it's got to be pretty bad, hasn't it? There was a whole series of me reading a book once. That that could have been a podcast. Why did I make it video? Hosting is the, is the answer. Um, okay, so there's that. And then just put that aside and start building something else, apparently. The instructions are good compared to everything else. A lot of building instructions for things are terrible somehow. But there's still, you know, there's still room for improvement. It's times like this I realise I need to trim my nails. They're just, they're, they're way too long at the minute. I like keeping them a bit longer because they protect your hands more and can be used as a weapon when necessary. You can really, you can really scratch someone. You, what you do is you go in for the big slap like that, really hurt someone. And then as you're pulling away, you just engage the claw to slap, then claw. You get a bit of blunt force damage in there and some slashing damage. That's that's how you that's how you win an attack against the woman, apparently. Right, so then this this attaches to this. The fuck is that? Oh, it's like a roof thing. That actually yeah, that works quite well. There's a lot of work going into creating these sort of beige things, which I've al I always assumed in the films were padding. So like, yeah, when sh when shit hits it and you're walking down these curved halls, if you if you hit against them, they're padded. But it's probably not what it is. It's probably a reason of like um, insulation would be my guess. 
but who knows that well that's that i suspect that's definitely in the law somewhere people fucking love making shit up like that don't they I like the fact that I, I immediately started this video by saying that there will be heavy spoilers for Avengers. So far, the only spoilers I've talked about, a bit, well, the only Avengers stuff I've talked about is how I went to see it on an odd time, at an odd time. All right, so the, the part I'm looking for just clearly doesn't exist. There it is. I actually kind of forgot what I was looking for, like mid look, which, which I am prone to doing. That's backwards. That's... Is that right? So that's that's that way, and that's also that way. So that works. That's in, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now I've got to build another thing, which it's like that thing I was building before, which was quite complicated. Quite complicated indeed. There we are. Boom. Why do you even start with the Avengers? I mean, you you start with the two films that arguably came before it to set it up the most. I, I would say, so for Ragnarok was a big setup. Black Panther, big setup. Um, Civil War, not really so much setting up because it didn't, um, it, it, it kind of told you what the team was about, but you can kind of figure that out anyway, or can you? Well, I'd say the main thing would probably be Guardians of the Galaxy, actually. The first one in particular, if, like, I'd say if that was the one... I was, I was trying to work it out as I was, as I was watching. It's like, if, you, if you've not seen any of these films, because you're, I don't know, you're California man or something. I'll put, this, is, this is wrong. This doesn't line up. But which one's wrong is the question. Could be the first one, could be the second one. Uh, let's see, let's take that out. Uh, yeah, I built the second one wrong. I, I, I followed the design to a certain extent, but I kind of, I believe I mirrored it, is what I did. So that if I put that there, then that. On that, the, does this work? Yeah, right, how did that go? The gray, like, like that. And then, okay, got a nice little hallway there. Yeah, that's that's arguably living quarters at this point. Still not ready to go in. Uh, didn't didn't think it would be. I've got to build a roof now to add stability. Right, we're now get we're in full full Avengers territory now. So, so for Ragnarok, I saw three times at the cinema. When I counted it up the other day, I was annoyed that I hadn't seen it four times because then I could say I'd seen four four times at the cinema, which, you know, I I could I could say I'd seen four three four times at the cinema or, or something along those lines. Some, something that would have had a pleasing resonance to it, you know. All right, oh, it's upside down. That's why. Right, okay. There's still not really much holding this all together. It's it's fairly loose. I'd like it to fit better somehow. It's probably it's probably forthcoming. Um, possibly. The four Ragnarok ended with with all the Asgardians on one big barge, essentially. Which apparently was was like just a cruise ve vessel of the uh, the Grand Master. Holy hell! Jesus Christ! Okay. So then, Avengers, Avengers, it immediately starts with Thanos having beaten like all of the Asgardians, like everyone that was on on that ship, which. You see him like having basically defeated Thor and Heimdall. He's down there. Loki's pretty shafted. But also, I've got the wrong. Are these the right color? Are there more than one color of these? I think, I think these are right. 
There's about 20 of these little bastards. 17 is actually how many there are, which is about 20. Yeah, so he's, he's already beaten all of like the Warbound, Korg, Meek, you know, those two. That's it, actually, that's all that survived. Um, and and uh, Valkyrie, she was downed, apparently. I don't, I don't, I don't recall seeing her. I will be watching it again just to check. So I'm, I'm hoping that they were just, you know, jettisoned elsewhere so they can return should there be a 4-4, which I, I don't know, there might be, there could easily be. I'd like to see more from the, from the Asgardians. Because otherwise, it, it, it leaves the end of, like, for Ragnarok. Yeah, we saved Asgard. Asgard is a people. Oh, they're all dead. Or possibly half of them dead. It's, it's unclear whether, because Thanos, he definitely destroyed their ship. But did he kind of split the ship in half, maybe, and only kill half of them? I'm pretty sure he killed them all. I think the the whole only kill half thing, it's not like it's not like every battle he's in, he's like, okay, I've won this battle, flip my coin, this half can die. I think that's that was kind of a job he put on himself where he'd go to a planet, possibly a dying planet, or a planet he judged to be dying, and and like round everyone up. If there was a resistance, it might seem like a war. And then just kill half of them. Which, which fair play is, you know, it's an approach. Is it the right one? Probably not. It's he's of a different religion. We can't, we can't judge his ways just because we think they're unusual. Three, four, five, but that's fifteen. I am too short. Uh, uh, two pieces short. But in reality, I am I am too short for most things in life. Yeah, so all of the all the survivors from from Ragnarok, both the film and the event, just gone immediately. You know, they don't have to worry about them. Korg in particular was a, was a big a big loss there. And the the only appearance of Hulk in the film is to briefly blindside Thanos, and you think, oh yeah, Hulk's gonna get him, but Fa Thanos will like have to kick him into space to beat him or something. Yeah, it's gonna be that. And then Thanos just kicks his ass. I don't think he even uses the gems. I think he just beats him up hand to hand. All right, I need to. I need some flat pieces, but they don't seem to exist. Well, there's one. Immediately proved myself wrong. Do I need this piece? Yeah, I don't know what that goes there. I need all of the flats. Like an Arab in London, I need all of the flats. That's not racist. They they just they tend to buy up a lot of our real estate. Apparently, I suppose that is racist because I said Arabs. Could be anyone. I mean, we know who it is. It's not. You can't secretly buy real estate. There's, there's records. God, I'm going to fucking rate a knots here. Which is risky because I'm actually looking at the wrong picture to do this. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I wouldn't forget any pieces, would I? I'm not like that. I'm already forgetting a piece of there. Yeah, uh, yeah. So then, uh, and unceremoniously, the, f the first death of the film, Heimdall, after doing yeah, a, a fairly good move, he uses the last of his apparently mystical connection to the Bifrost bridge that he had, maybe because he was around it so long, he absorbed some of its energies. He, he throws Hulk back to Earth, which really, really kicks, kicks off the Earth side plot to a certain extent. Um, yeah, I think that's, that stage is done. Move on to this one. Need some studs. I mean, more than myself, obviously. That's a red one. Why is that barely clear? Does it, does it need to be clear? It can't, no. Grey. And when I, was, when I was watching that bit, I was piecing it together. I was like, okay, so Hulk's probably going to Earth. Four will be in space, so the Guardians will find him, and that's how they get involved, and... Yeah, I, was, I, I like to sort of second guess the plot, see to what's happening. What I don't quite understand is Heimdall threw, he threw, he throws Hulk into Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum, which means a few things. One, the Bifrost knew where it was or, or picked the location or Heimdall did. Heimdall can see you all through time and space, so he, he probably could see that. 
but he also um, did, well, ah, presumably Heindel would have seen four being sort of friends of Doctor Strange, so he'd have figured out a lot about Doctor Strange. Heimdall's ability is weird, even for a god. He's the only one that he's all seeing, like, like he, like he can genuinely see everything, and it's unclear why in the films, because the, like the Asgardians are much less mystical in that. I find that initially they were supposed to have a science basis like be aliens, although it's hard to tell now whether they use magic or not, but I think there's an element of magic in there. A different kind? Probably. Is that that? Two, four, three studs. Yep. yep, yep, okay, all right, new page. I'm building a chair, I know it's a chair. Don't lie to me, I've seen chairs before. And Thor doesn't you like you don't even see Thor fight really, do you? He's just he's just beaten pretty much. I, I'm presuming they did that because they didn't want to show him losing because he's kind of after Ragnarok and the fact that Hulk gets beaten. It's like well, Thor's really the only person we know of at the minute that even stands a chance here. That, that Cap can't, I, Iron Man realistically can't, can he? Because he's yeah, you know, he's tough, but he's no. He's no god. He's nothing on their scale. Okay, little clip thing. Yep, that's that. Kind of a, a phone looking piece. Yep. Alright. So Banner arrives on Earth with with Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange teaches him. I don't, I don't know, doesn't teach him anything. I don't know why I'm saying he teaches him something. Is that right? Have I built this right? Is this a chair now? Is that a chair? Is that, does that look like a chair? I mean, it is one. Ah, oh, it's a swivel chair. It's not just any chair. Okay, yeah, that's good. Look, there's a little, little chair for the console. Go put a porg on it. I'm not going to do that because I, I still haven't actually built any porgs. I've got a lot of porg heads, meaning whatever a porg body is, I probably don't recognise it. Maybe it's that. No, that's that's too grey. What the fuck is this? It's just like a handle. Who's throwing handles? No, not that. One of you? Yep. Yeah. A couple of scissor bits. So Doctor Strange, he's he's in, in his Sanctum Centaurum. I think that's what it's called. He was going out for a sandwich for Wong, apparently. They're all buddy-buddy now, it seems. I don't know if he's the Sorcerer Supreme or if he just has the, the Time Stone because he knows how to use it. It's it's a little bit unclear. Like that there's something that doesn't that felt off was that none of no other sorcerers appear. Like Wong's in there and he he departs the film pretty much by saying, "Well, I've got to go and protect the sanctuary," because yeah, any other villain could just go and take over while while they're dicking around. But you know, there there should be others around. I, will that be covered in another future film that Baron Mordo's gone around killing them all? Were they just they were so decimated after Caecilius's attack in uh, in Doctor Strange that they just they didn't have the numbers to help? But it felt like there were a lot of them. And it seems to me like after learning sorcery from from the old, the ancient one, yeah, a few of them will get sent to the various locations to defend it. But each one of those only seemed to have, let's say, five people. Be generous, ten people in them, and she had like twenty students at one point. So presumably, a, a lot of them just go and live their life somewhere. So there's, there's you know, it should be them to call on. I've got this. This is this something yet? I need some grey dots, two of them, and some corner pieces, yeah, there's one. There's a spot over here that has had basically everything I've needed in it whenever I look, but it's only ever there the second time I look. And I realise it's because I've already put one of them in. <laughs> So 
So Bruce, Bruce tells Doctor Strange about all the nonsense going on, who immediately believes him, thank God. I suppose the fact that he crashed through his ceiling in a magical light and didn't die and was part green monster probably helped his case. And the Hulk's famous, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll buy that now. It all adds up. So they, they teleport to Tony Stark and, you know, sort of drag him in to the discussion. And what was actually quite cool was while they were just chatting about it, before they've really had time to do anything, Thanos just attacks, like his first wave arrives, which was particularly cool. That at no point did anyone really have like any time to pause and like make a plan of any kind. All right, need some um, these these three, and they go a little something like this. Oh, that's satisfying. In the in the distance, I heard the sound of my uh, my headphones turning off. Now, that's definitely a thing, isn't it? That's, yeah, that goes. How does this go? At, at this sort of angle. There we go. Oh, it moves. There's actually nothing holding this on at this point. It's all smooth on smooth. But can only go there, so that must be right. My God, this thing is massive. Uh, I need two of these. Three of these. And two little kind of elongated nipple affairs. There's one. There's another one. And there's the final thing. All right, so it's just building a wall at this point. Trump would be pleased. He's never happy, is he? Yeah, so that it kicks off the first fight of the film. Uh, which a, a fair amount of it is is waiting for transformations. First off, you're, you're waiting for Iron Man's newest transformation because you know he's going to pull something big out. He's already hinted that he's he's got nano machines, so you think, okay, that's that, that's going to be a thing that he's going to pull out. Though I, I didn't think it, the whole suit would be nano machine based. I thought it was going to be like a lighter version of the suit would be that, but also a bigger version would come in. But no, it was the whole thing just poured out of his chest. And possibly other parts of his anatomy. It's hard to tell. Is he more man than machine at this point? No, he's not. But he did seem... I think that thing on his chest was implanted. It wasn't just sat there. It seemed a part of him. Uh, let's see. Yep, that little thing there. Kind of a long, long bench, two of them. Yep. A little corner seat is needed next. Saying it out loud somehow helps. And an even smaller corner seat is needed next. I feel like that one won't help because I, I've ruined it by calling the other thing a corner seat. Ah, oh, there it is. Good. Uh, all right. So that goes on like that. This goes in here. That one there. Like that. Get in there. Where's it? Okay, like that. Nailed it. All right, so that's kind of a it's, it's walled off now. There's a partition to it, isn't there? Certainly. All right. Two of these domes. Luke Skywalker's helmet. That's what it actually is. I'm looking at it. That's all it can be. Two steering wheels. Getting quite parched. All this Avengers talk is drying me out. And I need something that resembles a lightsaber, but definitely isn't. It would be what you would use if you were in the Star Wars universe and wanted to pretend you had a lightsaber, but, but you didn't have one. Okay. Doesn't seem to exist, so I'll assume I've been cheated. I will be writing to Lego immediately. It's definitely not that. 
It's about this big, I know that. Here it is. But that's how it belongs. All right, uh, this goes on here. That's making a little stand for the helmet. It goes somewhere. It's all very cramped conditions at the minute. I'm trying to get the same angle that they're showing things from to put things. I mean, it's kind of a display piece. Ah, oh, oh, so this, I think this might be the bench they all sit around. I, I'm still not sure, actually. I'm going back on that idea. So, yeah, you get the. So, they're in New York. You've got Iron Man, the Hulk, well, Bruce Banner, unable, unable to be Hulk. Wong. He kind of holds his own for a bit. Um, so, you know, it seems like it'd be useful and then kind of disappears, really. Right, so that's that's that done. Now I'm building something fresh and confusing looking. Starting with this. And then what, while they're fighting, thank God, Spider-Man, his spider sense activates. He turns around and sees, uh, you know, a massive alien ship de descending. Why though? Shit. Shit the bed. These aren't the same. Ah, thank Christ for that. Okay, so I need all five of them. Two of them. These. A couple flats. A couple blacks. Not really okay with calling that. I felt a bit wrong. And some longer bits. All right. Okay, now I can start building to my heart's content. Yeah, so you, you see what, what is probably Peter's spider sense activating? It doesn't seem like it's for the first time either. It, se it seems like it activates and he's kind of aware that something's up. Which is actually important because it, that, it comes back later, at the, later in the film. But we'll get there, we'll get there. We'll get there. What I'm saying it is, it goes under there. And what, it's, it's a little moment, but you, you have Peter's mate, the guy in the chair, Ned. I want to say, who's very funny. I like I like that actor a lot. He's good. He's he's good in Spider Man. He's he's a very funny guy. I like him. But he, um, <laughs> Peter just goes, "I need a distraction." He doesn't even look like. He hasn't seen the spaceship at this point. He, <laughs> he just goes, I, I need a distraction. So Ned's just like, I'm on it. I, I can only assume he has the briefest glance around and is like, oh my God, the spaceship at the end of the world. And he just distracts the whole bus. And it's, it's, it's like a minor moment, but for some reason I, I greatly enjoyed it. It was, it was very funny to me. I haven't, I haven't picked up enough of a piece that's annoying me. Now I've got enough. So Peter joins the fray and it is a, a little bit useless at this point. He gets an upgrade almost immediately from Stark though to his iron spider suit, which I really like. It's got the legs that come out, which are awesome. Okay, you know, it allows him to survive in space somehow. Don't question it. Na nano, nano machines solve everything. And Iron Man's nano machine suit is incredibly cool, actually. It's, it, can't, it does seem to break, you know, a lot of his own rules. I wonder how he built it. It definitely seems like the most advanced thing there is. Whereas as before, it was sort of debatable where, like, you know, Wakandan tech's pretty good and like, other people have some cool shit. Like, like the Ant-Man suit, in theory, was pretty pretty decent, but in reality, it's like, oh, it's... No, this this new nanomachine suit, yeah, this is, this is the dog's bollocks, indeed. But they get their asses handed them to them pretty much by the new, the, the Thanos corpse. I, they've got a name like the Black Guard or something like that, and they're kind of I quite like them as a bunch. There's there's a bit of variety to all their designs. There's clearly one of them that's kind of magical. There's a, a Bruiser type, some more assassiny ones. They're, I'd I'd like to honestly I I could I could know more about them. I'd I'd happily learn more. Okay. 
Okay. So that's calling for another grey piece, which I don't currently have. I'm sure it only called for four, and I've put four on. Okay, yeah, that's fine then. Two, two of them, and a black. What the hell am I building here? I'm not even sure. I think it's supposed to be like a like a power cup pin that goes along, like a big, big old junction-y box. Either way, it's it's impressive. Some big pipes, and this this fits on to here. Through these earlier place tunnels. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. It was particularly good that so, so Iron Man gets he gets taken off into space with uh with Doctor Strange being held captive and our boy Peter gets in there as well, which is good because it it means that there's there's kind of two and a half worlds colliding there, isn't there? There's Doctor Strange, Iron Man and Peter Parker sort of. Who honestly is probably my favourite in the film. Um He's just he's so damn cool, isn't he? He says what we're all thinking, and he in, he clearly enrages everyone slightly by ref, <laughs> he refers to all movies as really old, even though they re are really old movies. That was a good bit actually. He he goes, you know, you remember that really old movie, Aliens, when they they're building their plan. And when he said that, I was like, okay, so the plan is that P the Iron Man's going to go in the front, but Peter's going to be crawling up like the floorboards or or the, through the ceiling to to trick him. And then it turns out what they actually meant was blowing the guy out into space. I was like, oh yeah, that probably made more sense. I feel like he should have said alien, not aliens, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter, does it? It's basically the same effect. <gasps> it's the chessboard. I wonder what that was. I've been looking at it like that. I thought it was a hubcap, but it's actually the chessboard game they play. I'm I'm certain there must be a real version of that chess, that board game. It is just chess, isn't it? Let's be honest. There's there's bound to be a real version out there, but I don't, I don't ever want to play it because it will only it will only disappoint you. Or it will just be chess, which would equally be disappointing. I'm not a chess fan. Bit dry for my liking. Any game where a queen can have more power than a king is, is wrong in my book. <laughs> Such an outlandish statement, isn't it? Doesn't even make sense. I'm English. All right. Really. It's not really locked in, but I don't think it's supposed to be. Uh, all right. What I like about these instructions is the picture shows me quite clearly slotting this piece onto here, but what it hasn't said is that there's, there's also two more bits you've got to put on first in this same stage. Cut to Scotland, UK. And he said Scotland, England there, which would be wrong on a number of levels. And depending on where you said that would get you in, in either hot water or just some bother. I'm not, yeah, you know, I'm a tolerant man, but for, in my experience, most of the Scottish fucking hate the English. I don't know why. We don't even think about you. That bit in The Simpsons where, you know, Willie's like, the, 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 the Scots hate everyone, like, you know, Irishmen and Scots, or Welshmen and Scots, or the English and Scots, or Scots and other Scots. It's true, they are a contentious people. All right, that's good, that's in. All right, we're, okay. We're positioning this in now. I'm not sure where. Uh, let's see, so that goes in that way. Okay, it, do, it doesn't, doesn't seem to want to fit, but I've learned what that actually means is I'm supposed to put it in from the bottom, aren't I? 
Okay, yep. Is that... I mean, it, it's kind of going. It's getting there. All right, I need to make sure I'm, I'm slotting this in in the right position. There's no real way of doing that. Um, I'll assume it's right because it kind of feels right. Let's just... I'm assuming it's right because it feels right. How many people have got in trouble for that? Eh? That's that's uh, that's some dangerous sentiment, isn't it? I'm assuming it's right because it feels right. All right, this, this uh, there's a piece here that should be going in, but it's not. Now it's in. Okay. All right. So that's seated nicely. Uh, yeah, four bolts to push in. And all right, so now set that aside and just start building something entirely different. This section is huge. So you got Iron Man and uh, and Spidey, and I feel like there was someone else on there with him, who he was talking with, but I can't think who. It was before, like, Sp Spider-Man kind of creeps up on Iron Man, doesn't he? Is he talking with Pepper over the phone, or is he talking to his girl Friday? There's, no, there's definitely no one else up there, was there? No, it can't have been. So they, they defeat Wass's face, the kind of evil wizard type who kind of only really displayed telekinesis, but I got it in my head that he was a magic-based critter for want of a more accurate word three makes three okay square bit goes on there this this, this is a this is a nice bit i like building this already comes across four yeah I mean, look at look at all the size of things going on here this is tremendous so industrious I hope I picked up the right pieces as well. There's a chance I haven't. Yeah, so me meanwhile, they're in Scotland, aren't they? And you meet you, you find out Vision and Wanda? Yeah. Scarlet Witch. Said that right. They're they're just living in Scotland, uh, you know, trying to make a go of things. And there's there's a bit where they're outside talking and, and Vision is essentially trying to propose to her. And they 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 see like the news. But there's a bit where, where, is, where the camera's sent on, on Wanda, and just in the background you see, and I tweeted about this, this is the only almost spoiler tweet I've ever done in my life for a film like that. I've got to start over. There's, a, there's just a sign which it, in, in the background says, we will deep fry your kebab. Or quite possibly, I, I might be getting that wrong, it may say we will deep fry your doner kebab, to be specific. Uh, if you're not familiar, a, do a doner kebab is a, a lamb-based uh, kebab meal that is traditionally had in England after a night of boozing. It's, it's very fatty, very filling, delicious from a certain point of view. It's, uh, it's, it's like the traditional drunk meal. Um, and you just see, I saw the sign in the background and I was thinking, that's the most Scottish thing I've ever seen. And I, I was, I had the story of this place in my head. I was like, that must be a chip shop. Because that's something you only really associate with chippies, is they'll, they'll deep fry anything for you. Particularly in Scotland. Deep fried Mars bar is a big thing. Um, and it, the way it read, like, like, they had a right, like, their rival across the street was a kebab house. And they were saying, look. Go and buy your kebab over there. Come here. We'll deep fry it for you. Implied for free as well. So it's quite a business model. All right, so this goes on here. That's too close. It's supposed to be symmetrical. A mighty strut has formed. The first has built. The 
next step that's complicated. Keep it that way, that's important. I need all these edge pieces. I don't actually know that I need all of them, but it, it looks like I'm going to need them all. Because I'm building a mighty edge around the empire. The Great Wall, like the film, The Great Wall. Be some little area, little corner pieces. Four of them, two of them, four of them, and four of them, and two of them. I'm missing a piece. Now I've got one too many. <laughs> Don't think about it too much. So this goes, this goes, okay. All right, yeah, I see how this goes now. Or do I? No, that's wrong. Okay. Right. How does all right, let's start? Let's start at the other end and worry about the confu the end that's confusing me later. A free and a free. So you got vision and wonder. You know, trying to plan out their life together, how how they're going to live happily ever after. Which, as a film character, is never something you want to do. It's 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 always going to end bitterly. You get. You get vision just just as Paul Bettany, which I, I I guess they're like you know what, let's let's save money on the makeup. If he doesn't need to be vision, he doesn't need to be vision. We'll just stick a we'll stick a midget gem to his head, and that that will do. It's fine. It'll be no one will notice. It's fine. Right. So that's definitely right. I think it overhangs the edge, is what it does, and that's throwing me off. Go in with that assumption, and they they suddenly get a, they they get blindsided quite frankly by by two more fantasies. I, I want to say they're called like the Black Guard or the the Black Union or Black Sect or something. They got quite a cool name. It's got black in it. I know that. They get blindsided by two of them, and frankly, are losing. Vision in this film is fucking useless. He never displays any kind of ability. I think he gets speared straight away and he, he loses his ability to phase. And, and Vision can do a few things. He can fly, okay? He's, he's super strong, as far as I know. He can phase, which means being dense and phasing through things. And he can shoot laser gem lasers from his head. And he immediately loses the ability to phase, which is frankly the most enjoyable part of him. It's the most unique part to him, certainly. Now what? Two of them, two of them, one of them, and I reckon I'll put this down on it. Well, that's going to be troubling. Where did this come off of? I think, I think it came off there. It's going to come back to bite me in the ass, isn't it? Rem remember that happened, please. Ah, and that's what I needed. Behold. The magic of science. So Vision and Wanda are so, sort of getting it handed to him. And then, then Wanda sort of wakes up a bit and remembers, oh, I'm the Scarlet Witch. I have, I have an undis a completely undefined set of powers. And that, then I think in this film they decided she's telekinetic is what she can do. That's, that's what we're going with. So... Suddenly, I, I mean, that's kind of all she had before, but she definitely, she definitely hypnotized a lot of people as well, but she never really touches on any of that in this one. So we'll, we'll assume that's just gone. Right, so this piece here I've made, oh, that attaches in there, doesn't it? That, that's, yeah, ah, that's, okay. And now this is the other bit that goes on there, isn't it? Yes. It's all coming together. Look at that. That looks, that looks like a right thing. You know, if I put that on there, actually finish the bastard. That's becoming very pleasing. It's almost smooth, very smooth. So they're, they're clearly about to lose, gonna lose the mind gem. And it kind of feels like at this point, you know, Thanos is gonna win all the first battles and lose the last one. But then out of nowhere, Cap appears, which was surprising. I, I was thinking he ain't gonna be in this for a while. So yeah, Steve Rogers appears. He also brings with him Black Widow and Falcon. Frankly, 
not the best lot, are they? Though somehow Black Widow seems to be like way better than all the rest, like all, all of Thanos' Black Garden kicks their asses. Possibly with their own weapon, meaning she came without a weapon. Which, I don't know if that says more about her or them, really, at that point. And she's blonde. They never, they never explain, like, they never even mention the fact that she's blonde. I feel like that would be, you'd bring that up, wouldn't you? There's a bit where, where Bruce is sort of like surprised to see her and you think they're going to have a tender moment and he doesn't. And he also never mentions, oh, you're blonde now. So it's just, that's not a thing. Or, or maybe, maybe it was a different character altogether and I just assumed it was, was her. That's definitely her, wasn't it? That goes without saying. That's... I'm just, I'm doing this by eyeball at the minute, which is almost entirely guaranteed to lead to errors. But it's quite satisfying method of approach. Missing a bit. Hoping it will turn up. How does that go? Like that? Must be kind of a wedge piece. Should be here it is. Should be here it is. Flip it over. Put some nonsense on the underside. Why not? So Steve Steve appears. He doesn't have a shield. I don't really know why, honestly. Um, I think it's probably because in the next Avengers, there'll be a big thing about, you know, fighting back. And one of them will be symbolically Steve Rogers getting his shield back and becoming Captain America. It, he's very much just Steve Rogers in this. I don't think they ever call him Captain America. Um, that, that, that seems to be a, a thing. Which is odd because... In, in this Marvel universe, there's no, it's not like there's been other Captain Americas. In, in the comics, it's, it's a whole thing how like, after the war and they lost Captain America, they, they actually, they had someone else take on the moniker. And then every, like kind of every war America was in after that, they'd, they'd, they'd make someone else be like Captain America. No one was ever as good as him, apparently, but that, that was a thing they'd do. So it was, it would be more prevalent in the society that it was a, a kind of a title as opposed to a person. But that, 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 that isn't a thing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and they haven't replaced them, so that's just, that's just where they're at. They very unceremoni unceremoniously say that uh, Scott and Clint won't be appearing for, for reasons that don't really make any sense. It's like, well, yeah, legally they had to, they had to retire. It's like, yeah, but this is, this is the sort of thing they'd show up for. Maybe not Hawkeye, but definitely Ant-Man should. I mean, they're not going to be able to do anything, but I'd have them there. Certainly Hawkeye, because like, he's not really a game changer on the battlefield, is he? He's, he's on the exact same level as nearly all of the other heroes at the start of the Wakanda fight. Okay, yeah. Um, oh. Oh, this is this is this is exterior ship. I know this because it's telling me to fit it to the exterior of the ship. Okay, so this goes. On it doesn't really show what this is attaching to. It's specifically showing it being attached to, like, is that safe? It feels kind of safe. So it goes in, it's like this. That hooks onto that. I see why this is, like, 17 plus age rating, because I don't know. I'm an adult and I'm struggling. I, need, I, I feel like I need to look at this head on, which is physically impossible. I 
a lot of this like fits flush at this point, meaning I can't, oh hang on, it's on a hinge. So how does it, how does it, is it on a hinge? It's on some kind of a hinge. What am I seeing here? No, it's definitely going to go like that. I now have to adopt a squatting position. And I'm falling. All right, let's see, just thread that in there. Oh. No, is that, does this fit? I'm just going to turn the damn thing upside down. Okay, nothing fell out. That was, that was pleasing. Okay, so this fits on this way. Like this. That can't, that can't possibly fit like that though. Does that just come over? Have I got this the right way up? Yes. So if it has to go flush, that's not going in there. Uh, there's no angle for that to fit in. Let's flip it back the other way. Am I looking at this the right way? Have I got, have I got this right? So that's yes, is the answer. Have I got this room off center? There was a worry of that earlier on, but looking at it now, I feel like it can't possibly be wrong. So no, that seems to be right. So it has to come in, like, right back there. Let's flip it again. This uh, seems to be the plan. So this, this bit has to be pretty much to there. So that's got to come in like that. Unless I'm trying to fit it in way too small. It goes like that. No, that's nothing. Definitely, definitely sits in there. But it, it's too, it's not right. In fact, looking at this, there's a whole room that's on the wonk, I reckon. This is clearly on the wonk. It is, it's one bit out. I, I kind of remember putting this in and thinking that can't be right. There, it's actually square now. Is it, a, is it an angle? Due to the size of the set, it's possible to put the, put the Lego pieces in so they fit in an angle and still appear to be correct. Nah, this will just sit beautifully, won't it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right, it's still bloody hard to fit this because I can't, I can't apply any pressure to stick it together. But it's easier than it was when nothing would fit. I've got that much to go by. So it's got to be flush against these panels, which is, which is here. All right. Okay, it's in, it's in the right position geographically speaking. It's not, however, really fitting to anything. Ah, which is why it tells me to put these bits in now. I need four of them. They're small, they're grey, they look exactly like this. There's three of them. Four, right, okay. It's 
scared the shit out of me. This this section is massive. It really threw me off. Didn't even get part way through talking about the Avengers. So the thing at the end when Thanos snaps his fingers and wipes out half of the universe, right? And and everyone sort of, you know, they're surprised by their demise, except for Tony Stark, uh, Iron Man, yeah, in case you don't know. Him and Peter, they have a real moment where Peter's scared. It's because Peter's spider sense works and he, he can feel it coming. He can feel the, the existential dread and that's, he knows. Because I was, I was thinking in the, in the, in the trailers, and it's the bit in the bus where it shows Peter's arm hair going up. It's like, oh, it's his spider sense. I'm like, is it though? It could just, it could just be some weird magnetic field or gravity thing just, just doing that to him. But then it's like, okay, it's, it's pretty clear it's his spider sense at that point. What I thought these would do would be to sort of secure it in place. This has done none of that. I'm going to turn this up and over. Somehow my arm's trapped under it. Now I need to apply pressure between these two pieces, but it's very difficult because there's no fucking way of getting at them. Though I do seem to have just done it. I feel like I need a tiny vice. Four goes on his quest to reforge his hammer with uh, with the dwarves. My favorite thing was they have a dwarf played by Peter Dinklage, but he's a giant dwarf. So he gets to be in a film and play a giant dwarf, which is hilarious. And he's basically Tyrion. All right, well, that was the hour. Um, Phil, okay. I was gonna say I might just finish it, but Unless I just, I definitely just skipped a page that said open a new bag, didn't I? There's still, there's still a lot left, so I don't think I will. So I'll, I'll do a little bit more. So that, so four goes on his quest to get his hammer back, and I was thinking, okay, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, but that'll be like, he maybe he'll forge the hammer by the end of the film, and it, that'll come in into the next one. No, he forges the hammer. And then he just, he just teleports to Earth, which is which is great. So you get four in it. I was a little bit disappointed they didn't play the immigrant song when he came in, which is the song they play in for Ragnarok whenever like four gets mad, pretty much. That would have been cool. It might have taken away from the film a little bit though, like you know, swap the tone. Plus, it would have implied they might win, which they they weren't going to win. Uh, uh, how does this fit on here? You had everything about Star Lord and fucking Peter Quill. He is Peter Quill, and and Thor's meeting was was brilliant. The fact that, that everyone is in awe of Thor. They they point out that that Star Lord's put on a bit of weight and he gets self conscious about it. <laughs> Which, yeah, I find very funny. And it's one of one of only two songs in the whole film. In that earlier bit. That was cool. Basically, any time anyone meets Star Lord is a good moment, because it's it's kind of hard to justify that the Guardians are, are frankly a force of any kind of usefulness, seeing as they're frankly a little bit useless. Like that in Guardians One, you know they they've got some pa like you got you got Groot in there who's pretty powerful. It it felt like Drax might be fairly powerful, but it's it's unclear. But then but now they they're not. They're not exactly the, the, the all-powerful guardians of the galaxy you want them to be. They haven't got like Quasar or or anyone in there. What's his name? The Yondu. He died. He, he was pretty. He had some stuff going on for him. Could have saved his death for this film. No, no, too many characters. All right, I'm gonna stop there. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm still I'm still wading through bag three. I'm definitely gonna finish it next time, though, aren't I? I hope. Join me then for my part two of the Avengers and you'll have definitely seen it and I'll have forgotten it or I'll have seen it six more times. It's a great film. Thanks for watching.